This video is going to show us how to multiply a fraction times a whole number. So let's read our word problem. At a bakery, 7 eighths pound of flour is used for a cookie recipe. How many pounds of flour are needed for five cookie recipes? So let's think about what are our key words here that help us know that we're multiplying in this word problem. So if I have 7 eighths pounds for one cookie recipe, then I know that I'm making five groups of seven eighths. Another way I could write that is five times seven eighths. So we know from our strategy of how to multiply a fraction times a whole number that this is like saying seven eighths five times and that the denominator does not change. So I still am going to have my answer split into eighths. My seven in my numerator is getting multiplied by the five groups, the five um, groups of cookie recipes. So seven times five is 35. And so I could say that I need 35 eighths pounds of flour. However, this isn't really the simplest form, and this isn't really the best way to write our answer to this. So we're going to change this improper fraction into a mixed number and simplify it. So in order to change this 35 eighths into a whole number plus a fraction, I need to think about how many groups of eight I can make with 35 of something. So I can go through my eight facts. So I know, um, let's see, eight times three I know would get me to 24. That's probably too small. I can try eight times four, and that would get me to 32. A little small, but closer. Let's just check. Eight times five is 40. So five groups of eight would be too much. It would be more than 35. So this is what I wanna use. I can make four groups of eight, if I have 35 of something. So I have four holes, but now I need to figure out what's left to go into my fraction. Again, I'm still out of eighths, so that doesn't change. But if I had 35 in my numerator, and I take 32 out to use it for my whole, num whole number, then what is left in my numerator? 35 minus 32 would be three. So 35 eighths, can get simplified and written as four and three eighths. So how many total pounds of flour will they need? For five recipes, they'll need four and three eighths pounds.